Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai or Kia guys with a GDI engine. It could be any GDI engine and you want to know the symptoms of bad cylinder head gasket. Stay with us, we'll cover that today. What you can experience if you have a bad head gasket and uh, we'll have a special video that will explain step by step how to replace head gasket on a 2.4 GDI engine which may be helpful on other GDI engines as well. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why? Simply because our mission in the shop, guys, is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way, we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you. If you need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. With that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here. This is, guys, the cylinder head right here that we have removed. This is uh, okay. The uh, engine right there now let's explain how okay uh, what are the symptoms of bad cylinder head gasket and what it does first the cylinder head gasket is between the cylinder head and the engine block it will be laying right here what's the purpose of it okay three things that it does one to keep compression you have a, a inner ring around the, uh, the cylinder that will keep the compression so the engine is not losing compression so it can produce power Number two, you have another outer ring that will prevent coolant to get in the combustion chamber because otherwise the engine will not run. And number three, to make sure oil doesn't mix with coolant. So three things that majorly do the cylinder head gasket. When it fails, how it can fail. The most common thing is, okay, the gasket will develop a leak somewhere in the cylinder, okay, around the cylinder, and from there it will go to the uh, uh, to actually to the coolant so when a cylinder head gasket fails okay in that way what will happen when the engine is running you start pumping hot air in the cooling system and as a result you will end up having bubbles in the cooling system high pressure in the fuel si uh, in the cooling system and the engine will overheat really quickly guys especially if you're accelerating climbing a hill anything like that because that hot air will just be pumping in the um, in the cooling system the cooling system will develop air pockets that will prevent coolant circulation and your engine will overheat another thing that you can experience if the cylinder head gasket is bad mixing okay coolant okay with engine oil so if the coolant part fails towards the engine oil what can happen you will start putting coolant in the engine oil uh, or in some cases it could be the other way but most of the time the coolant will be hot under pressure so the coolant will go to the engine oil so if you put a dipstick it looks kind of like milky color okay it's very likely you mix coolant and engine oil as well uh, another thing that can happen when the cylinder head gasket fails is actually coolant can seep okay into the cylinder of your vehicle in one of the cylinders or it could be even multiple ones and when that happens okay the spark plug will get wet the vehicle will not ignite and as a result you may lose that cylinder and you may have a really hard time even starting the engine because if you have more than one cylinder that has a uh, leak on the head gasket that can develop guys actually quite a few problems and it can uh, result into not being able to start the car because the spark plugs are wet or because uh, the head gasket is so blown that the cylinder uh, and the piston cannot make enough compression okay to have a stable combustion and start so that could happen as well and that can develop into low compression guys too uh, now another thing that you may experience in some cases loss of heater as well because if you get an air pocket in the cooling system it may end up going in the heater and you may lose your heater uh, you may notice as i said overheating mixing coolant and engine oil getting coolant in the combustion chamber another thing in some cases you may develop a small leak from coolant in the combustion chamber and what will happen you will start losing coolant coolant will disappear guys you will keep adding coolant you will not have any coolant leaks but the coolant will be disappearing that way okay it's going through the engine and from there to the exhaust so you're burning coolant okay there is a specific smell to it through the exhaust it's kind of like Swedish smell it's more like why you smell when you're burning coolant especially on cold mornings if you start it you can notice that sometimes as well those are the most common things for bad cylinder head gasket guys on uh, GDI engine if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time